Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will reverse a non-reversible motor, the rotation of a non-reversible motor. Let's say, for instance, you have a motor that's turning clockwise when viewed from the shaft end, and you need it counterclockwise. Now, in this example, this motor is a reversible motor. You can identify a reversible motor because of the uh, wire leads coming off of it. But for this example, we're going to pretend like these leads are not here and we need to reverse the rotation of this motor. What we do in this instance, remove all four of the bolts that are going around. Then remove all of these. We're going to pull off the motor ends. Pull this one off. Pull this one off. We're going to rotate this 180 degrees. Reinstall it. Now in this application we've got these in the way, which normally those would not be there. Bolt everything back together when you in a normal application these wire, wires will not be here. Put everything back together, put the bolts back in where they go. You have just reversed the rotation of a non-reversible motor. This could be in a condenser fan application or a, a blower motor application. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned while I introduce the super cool slide rule. It is the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Thanks for watching. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.